Sports Suit is brought to you in cooperation with Arms Corps, the country's top firearms and ammunition manufacturer with over 50 years of product excellence and industry leadership. Arms Corps, bringing the best of the Philippines to the rest of the world. Welcome to Sports Shoot. This is a leisure segment for the gun enthusiast. We usually feature some outstanding firearms here on Sports Shoot, but this week we give way to an event that all gun enthusiasts look forward to the 2015 Bolo Cup. This year's Bolo Cup is underway and the participants are dead serious about staking their claim to the awards to be given out later tonight. The participants are at their starting position as a tournament official prompts him. At the signal, he grabs a gun and proceeds to the prescribed stages. As time is of the essence in this competition, he loses no time and sprints to the next position as the official assigned to him stays close by to get his score. This scene is replicated throughout the armed score shooting range during the course of the Bolo Cup. An exciting day indeed, not only for the country's shooting enthusiasts, but for the foreign competitors as well. The Bolo Cup is a major shooting competition that is known and respected internationally. This year, they are holding the 15th Bolo Cup. And of course, the Chairman Emeritus, Mr. Bolot Wazan, after whom this prestigious competition is named, was there. And he traced the history of the tournament for sports shoot. We evolved from a very small competition to over 400 participants today. With all this bad weather, we still had a lot of participants, no? And it's the 15th year, as you know. That means the first one was in 2000, I believe, no? 2000. And uh, it was organized as the National Capital Region Area uh, Competition. And uh, it is also used as a uh, stepping stone to, for the shooters to participate in the uh, international events, as in the World Shoot or in the Australasian or in any other event. And, uh, some go to the European and all that. 400 participants, despite the rainy weather that day, to compete in increasingly difficult stages in this year's Ball Cup, as explained by Mr. Bob Sahot, General Manager of Arms Corps Shooting Range. Well, this year's Bolo Cup is uh, 15 stages of pistol match and 10 uh, rifle, mini rifle stages. We have uh, a total of 420 something shooters. Uh, international shooters, we have around 40 international shooters. It's, it's well attended every year and this is also a successful match like all the matches before it. According to Bob, all IPSC matches are different from each other. The better to make it more interesting and challenging every year. Uh, in the competition also we have a shoot-off. Uh, it's uh, composed of the top shooters, top finishers of the match. And they will have a uh, man versus man competition, a, a mini competition in itself. And with it we give trophies and uh, cash prizes. Ms. Gina Angangko, Senior Executive Vice President of Arms Corps, was also there to hand out the awards and prizes. She took time out to talk about the 15th Bolo Cup. The 15th uh, Bolo Cup is a uh, level 3 PPSA event and this is a qualifier match for the upcoming World Shoot. We're very happy that it is very well supported in the industry by the shooting community and a lot of our sponsors have been with us for so many years. We're also very glad that uh, a lot of international shooters consider this one of the go-to events in the shooting sport. So because of this, we have been able to help a lot the Bata Foundation, which is our orphanage where we uh, take care of about 17 girls and put them through college. So this is the Bigay Awa at Tanglao sa Maanghel Foundation. So that's where most of the proceeds go to, aside from all our corporate social responsibility projects like the medical and dental mission we have every year where we conduct minor surgery for over a thousand patients. We also have a lot of different activities um, that help the Bata Foundation and the different uh, projects of Arms Corps. And to match the excitement of the participants in this tournament, Arms Corps upped the prizes to be given away. 
for this year, we, in addition to that, the, we added a lot of uh, raffle prizes, like the new uh, guns from Arms Corps, Rock Island. We have the 22 TCM. Two of those are up, are up for grabs. And we have the new M22 Carbine. Two, also two of those. We have the uh, 22 TCM conversion for Glocks. And we have the new Baby Rock. That's a 380 1911 also uh, uh, for the, up for the raffle. Also a medallion, the top of the line medallion arms score. After a grueling match, there were winners and of course more losers as well. But this is a gentleman's sport where winning is a bonus. Shooting with the best of them is prize enough. And the camaraderie that followed during the awards night wiped out the idea of winning and losing. The sitting CEO, Martin Duarte, was likewise there to welcome all participants and congratulate the winners. Uh, we had a big international presence this year. Usually several hundred people are shooting over the four days. It was a safe match and uh, I've seen a lot of arms Corps team uh, names coming up as far as uh, some of the awarding as it's going along here. Um, so I'd say another successful year, um, especially trying to bring the sport of shooting to uh, the rest of the world, um, making it available. You know, uh, the shooters that came from uh, Indonesia or Taiwan and, and places like that, they're not allowed to own guns for anything but sporting purpose, if, if anything at all. So, um, and uh, I also want to thank the uh, range officers that came all the way from Japan. We had three. Uh, headed by Kudo-san and um, they did a very good job officiating and they always do a good job there uh, and it's nice to see that even in uh, the most anti-gun of countries uh, that there's still support for firearms and the shooting sport. The Bolo Cup also serves as a qualification match where the winners will buy for international honors at the next foreign match where Bolo Tuason is hoping that our Filipino shooters will reap honors for the country. I'm, I'm hoping that we can hear our, our uh, uh, national anthem played more often during, during these international competitions because every time you win and you go up to the stage as number one, it, it, it's the Philippine anthem that's being played it, or, the, or somebody else's anthem. So, I don't want to hear the American anthem and I don't want to hear the other anthem, I want to hear the Philippine anthem. <laughs> that was the recently held 15th Bolo Cup. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. And that was Sports Shoot. This is a leisure segment for the gun enthusiasts. Sports Shoot has been brought to you in cooperation with Arms Corps, the country's top firearms and ammunition manufacturer with over 50 years of product excellence and industry leadership. Arms Corps, bringing the best of the Philippines to the rest of the world.